So how do we format this as a table? We are uh, already on uh, that page, rather under the tab and ribbon where we can do that. So um, you can highlight the table and then go to format as table. Yeah. So when you format it as table, uh, just make sure that you put a check on my table has headers. Um, otherwise, of course, you know what's going to happen. Diba magdadagdag siya ng extra row there. Um, is going to say um, column one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. So at this point, since we our table has headers, I'll just click OK. And yeah. All right. So now it's formatted as a table. Now, another thing that you can do here. So while you are under the table design tab, you can click on total row. So total row adds this. And okay. Again, the total row adds this one. So I have a new numbers, of course, and it's going to automatically sum it up. Well, for the most part, that, that's what it's going to do. Um, again, you simply go to table design and click on total row. Now, if you hide something in here, Kunyare, um, ito, remember lang the number for now, 229-070. If I filter it, let's go F. Yeah. It's going to adjust the total row as well. So, ang i-add lang niya is this current numbers that you guys are seeing right now. So, basically, it calculated it after you filtered. Yeah. So that's what I like about the total row. No, it might be helpful or useful for you guys uh, for that. No, yeah. So if you hide something, um, same deal. It's going to take it away from the computation ng total. Okay. Aside from this, um, as you can see, no, there's a uh, there's a drop down that you can click on. So it doesn't necessarily have to be sum. It could be average as well. It could be count. And, all right, so you can change all of these. All right. Under table design, okay, so you have, you can click on banded rows, banded columns. You can check out what happens. And, and your first column naman, basically it highlights your first column just like so. And your last column. However, there are themes or styles wherein it doesn't necessarily apply. Um, you might pick a theme out or a style out na hindi siya magka-highlight ng first and last column. So it's basically just a, a change in formatting naman. Again, it just highlights the first or your last column naman. Okay. <laughs> Jeff Dow never really knew what format as table was. Yeah. So, um, yeah, again, it, it's... I don't know. Because everybody will understand that what we are looking at, like if you highlight this, diba, that's already a table. Diba? But Excel, for some reason, doesn't recognize it as such. So we have to format it like one. But um, I guess for, for me, you know, my interpretation of what formatting it as a table means is basically applying an, an, a style here that you want to apply for your table there. Yeah, so yun lang naman, no? uh, that's, that's it for me. But thank you guys for sharing. Sige. Good so far. Anything else? Yeah. Okay. So again, let's go to table exercise this time. All right. And let's follow this. Convert the data from A1 to F10 to table. And all right. So we're going to make it a table. Format table again under the home tab. No. I'll choose, I'll choose this one. Okay. Hindi na tuloy makita. Okay. So this one, I think meron na kasi siyang formatting here. That's why it's not applying. Okay. Tell you what, let me, let me do this. Okay, here. Let me. Okay. Let me delete that. Okay. 
All right, so that we can start from scratch then. Okay, so I copied it, pasted it as, um, what did I paste it as? There, values only. Forgot what it was called. Okay. Okay, so format as table. I'm going to change it to this. Yeah. All right. So I had to reset it, no? Um, just like what you just saw here. Yeah. So you can do your, your own design. Um, you can try it out as well, just like what I did. So copy the entire table, paste it as values, delete the old one, and then, you know, start afresh. Yeah, just so that we can apply the themes or the styles that, that you have there. Choose your own table design. Remove the duplicates. Um, how do we remove duplicates from this one? Anybody? And Carlo, thou Alt H T and enter for a quick table format. Thank you, Carlo, for that. See, okay, so real quick. Uh, again, going back here. How do we remove the duplicates, Naman? Data tab, remove duplicates. Perfect. Okay, so data tab, you have this. Yeah. Okay. So data tab under the data tools, you have remove duplicates. Click on that. Click OK. Yeah. So it removes it. Now, um, this is, of course, way better than highlighting everything. Diba? Tapos, uh, there are some of us who would do conditional formatting, tapos duplicate values, diba? So some of us will do this. I mean, this, of course, is uh, as a different approach. So it can be very helpful pa rin naman. Um, except for, you know, pag gusto mo mag-delete ng duplicates mo, then you can go about doing the data and then remove duplicates instead. Okay? Um, again, depends on the approach that you want to take. Meron kasi, like, for me, if I feel a little bit OC, I want to make sure that what I am deleting is yung, yung kailangan lang talaga i-delete. Yan. Not that I don't trust Excel, uh, but sometimes I really don't. Um, so that's what I do. No, ayan. Because nagiging redundant lang. But that's just me being planning about it. All right. So there, I'm not going to apply the conditional formatting. Um, add a total row. Ayan. Okay, so table design. You go total row. That's what we got. By the way, ayan. I will change this to currency. Go with the nothing dollars. Para matas tas yung swell Oh, I'm going to remove the duplicates as well. There we go. All right. Add total row, identify subtotal. Okay, so here's what we're going to do next. Okay, so here is another box for us to answer. All right. So you basically just copy your answers here. Oops. Oh, yeah. All right. You know what? I'm going to paste it like that. Okay. Tapos, let's do average as well. And count. Come on, count. Count. Okay. So you got eight. Min. Oops. And then max. There we go. And then you can just change the formatting after. Because if you just copy and paste it immediately, it's still going to copy the formulas. So once this changes, magiibarin yung mga sagot sagot yung dito. So if you want to make it static, that's what we do. Okay. Let's not do five anymore. That's uh, pretty straightforward. Except, of course, if you want to do it, by all means, go ahead. And new field, yearly salary. You know what? Let me let me do that as well. Yearly. Yearly salary. All right. It's going to automatically format that for us as well. Yearly salary is salary multiplied by 12. There we go. How did that happen? This entire tab here. Okay. Let's go to session six. And all right. So another pretty seemingly straightforward function in Excel no, is to uh, saving it as a web page 
or using hyperlinks. So um, creating or adding a hyperlink um, uh, to the cells or the text in the cells. No? All right, so in the hyperlinks box, let's go to the hyperlinks box. All right, so let's say my company's website, you know what, it's already here. I'm just gonna pretend it's google.com, okay. So when you type a web page in, just like what I did, you know, www.google.com, it will automatically insert a hyperlink there. So there are times, however, that you don't want that. So what you can do is just right click and then remove the hyperlink. Okay. Or the text to display. So when you add it, my text to display is Google. And that's what I want to be clickable from within my Excel sheet. So what you can do is you can ayan, right click, ulita, sorry, right click, and then you go to link and then click on insert link. Yeah. So you can also use this as a shortcut for other files, like just this one that you're looking at. Okay. Or a website address, google.com. We'll click OK. So now it displays Google, but the link that it would go to, if you hover your mouse over it, yan, yun may kita nyo, www.google.com. So if you click on that, syempre hindi nyo may kita, right? Because I'm only showing my app. But it opens up to a Google page from your browser. All right. So go ahead and try it for at least the next uh, three texts to display and then apply your uh, hyperlinks as well. Yeah, let's do that, Mona. Just a quick exercise. So apply the URLs. Yeah, so pretend it's, it's www.pizzahutphilippines.com. Apply that to Pizza Hut. Yeah. Especially for alprograms.com and advanced learning programs. The display is advanced learning programs, but it goes to alprograms.com. Ame Dao pala, um, thank you for sharing. So in chat, she said, control KV to insert hyperlink. So control KV, yeah. Oh yeah, so that's when you copy the, no, tama, yeah. Cool, all right, awesome. Do you guys do this as well? Do you insert hyperlinks in yourselves? You do that a lot? Yeah. <laughs> Why are we talking about it then? You're all familiar with this. Okay. Okay, I see the sabi ko ano eh. Um, we can end it, our training a little bit earlier yesterday simply because, well, now it's literally a review for you guys. How can we open multiple hyperlinks in a column? Um, what do you mean, Miguel? Can you elaborate on that? Hello. Hey, yeah. What do you mean by um, open multiple hyperlinks in a column? Uh, so normally for our reports, um, we have multiple URLs in one column. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes we would have to open 10 at a time so we can check all of them. So maybe aside from Google, because normally what you do is Google uh, Sheets. So maybe there's a way from Excel. Like, okay, so um, help me understand a little bit better. So Kunyare, you have you have this, right? You have multiple and then links. all of them have URLs, yeah. Okay. Now when you said to open it, like instead of clicking them one by one. Oh. Okay. You know what? I'm not very positive through unlike you know, clicking it one at a time. Does anybody know a trick uh, to open it all at the same time? Is that what you were talking about, Miguel? Like yeah, open I it all at the same I time? I gave an answer just now. Okay. I guess. All right. Um I can you can you help me? Can yes, you walk sir. me through real quick? So how do we apply this here? Uh, uh, yes, actually, sir, it's just an uh, ano, um, Google extension. So all you have to do is to highlight all the links in the column, mm -hmm. and then you input it. Uh, well, you install the extension with Google Chrome, and then pag kinlik mo siya yung extension, para may blank sheet siya, and then you paste all the URLs, and then when you open all the URLs. Um, you click the URL, 
tao, ay, parang bottom so, line sa yeah. extension. Yeah, mag-open po lang for us. That's what we use. Mm. When we check the URL. Okay. So, hindi mo siya isa-isa yung click. So, right. lahat siya mag-open for you. Okay, sounds Might good. Help. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Cool. Ayan. So you can do that. Um, how many how many links are we talking about that you have to do one click open for all of them? Are we talking oh. about hundreds? Yeah, thousands. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Okay. It, okay. Wait. Um, trying to compute this here. You have to open up thousands of links all the same time. Do you have to view them one at a time? Or do you just it's need to make sure? Po, sir. It's easier to open them. Parang isahan lang siya. Kasi if you click it one by one, mm -hmm. it will be um, time consuming. So at least if you open it once, yeah. parang uh, tap ka na lang. Control right. tab. No, th that I get. That I get. Kasi iniisip ko, like, <laughs> how, how many, that's why I ask how many tabs do you have to open? Because like, if it's just like this, no, I'll just click on it one at a time. But if you're talking about thousands, like, yeah, I'm not, I'm sure you'd appreciate that <laughs> extension you share any I know, Miguel. Um, yeah. Wow. That's, that's mind blowing. Anyways. All right. Cool. So, um, yeah, I guess you picked up on that. Thank you very much. I for sharing.